Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the Otto Mount. It's one of the secret new mounts in Dragonflight, and it all starts here in the Unharan Plains at these coordinates. Hidden away in a cave is a giant frog sitting on a pile of gold, and this is the Great Swog. This is a frog vendor that will get the ball rolling for us. Now, if you talk to this vendor, you can see he offers you some bags of treasure, but more importantly, a silver and gold coin that you can exchange for different currencies. So the objective is to get a gold coin. To get a gold coin, you need to give him five silver coins. And to get a silver coin, you need to give him 15 copper coins. It is an exchange of coins until you work your way up to that gold coin. Now, there are a few ways to get coins. One of them is just to fish. You can fish anywhere in the Dragon Isles. And if you're lucky, you can get some coins along the way. If fishing isn't really your style for this, you can do Lunker Fishing, which is with the Ascara Harpoon. There are loads of these in the custom group finder. And the Lunkers you fish up also have a chance to drop coins. I did both of these. I found the drop rates of both to be pretty equal. I would say Lunker Fishing is a bit more involved, whereas Fishing is quite boring, and you're going to be doing a lot of that anyway. But most of the grind in getting this mount is getting these coins. This is like 90% of the work is, is this first bit. And then we're about to introduce even more RNG. So once you have a gold coin from all your grinding, you want to buy the bottom bag on that list, the Immaculate Treasures for the gold coin. And then this has a chance to contain the Aquatic Shades toy, which you need to get the mount. Now this toy is only about a 60% drop, so if it doesn't drop in your bag, you have to do all of that again. So uh, yeah, pray to the RNG gods really, really hard. Now, once you get these, you want to head to the Waking Shores and to the very top of the map, just beyond the Obsidian Citadel, you want to equip your Aquatic Shades. Look at that. That is just glorious. And now you want to head into the water. There is a little area called the Bubble Bath down here. Now, don't worry about underwater breathing here. You're not going to need it. If you have your shades equipped, you want to swim down <laughs> all the way to this dance mat underwater. Okay. And then you just want to stand on that middle bit and you get a five minute debuff where all you do is dance. You just have to wait out the five minutes. If you do that, your screen will fade to black and you will wake up on the surface or next to where you were and uh, there will be an empty barrel next to you. You want to click the empty barrel and take that in your inventory and that will begin the next step of this puzzle. So we're going to be heading to Iskara, the Tuscar village in the Asia span because now we're going to be doing a bit more fishing. So you want to fish up 100 of these frigid flow fish, these green quality fish from this area and then once you've fished up a hundred of them, you want to click your barrel and that will turn that barrel into like a half full barrel of fish. Moving on, you then want to head back to the Waking Shores and you want to be fishing up 25 Calamitous Carp. Now these can be fished up in any source of like lava. I was about to say open water, but I, I guess open lava. This drop rate on these is not that great. It's like 20%. It's pretty low. You want to get 25 of them. Once you do that, click your barrel again. It is important that you are clicking your barrel when I tell you to, because otherwise the next step will not drop. Okay, now we only need one more fish to fill up that barrel, and it is in Feldrassus. I got it at these coordinates in about eight minutes, but people have reportedly been fishing here for about four hours. It can be quite tough. So what I did is I got the Kazgarite Fisher Fien, the engineering fishing rod blue quality. I put a work order in for that. I also enchanted it with Perception. I also have the max fishing at 100 in this expansion. And you just want to be fishing until you get King Finn, the wise whisker fish. Like I said, I got it pretty fast, but it can all depend on your fishing skill, a lot of RNG. I think that perception and the location like, is also a factor. Once you get that fish, you can add it to the barrel, and that will be your overflowing barrel done. You want to head back to the waking shore. If you don't remember, it's right up top here. This is where kind of we started off, and this is where you found the barrel. You want to put the barrel back exactly where you found it, so roughly in this corner here. Once you place the barrel, Otto will appear and it will offer you a quest to instantly complete and you will obtain your mount. Definitely one of the grindier puzzles. If you didn't get your Aquatic Shades from your first bag, I'm so sorry for you. It's, it's, it's horrible. It's nasty, Blizzard. I don't know why you would do that to people. 
And uh, yeah, this mount does actually have a nice little unique thing. If you equip your aquatic shades and then you get on this mount, the mount will also have the shades on. It's one of the unique things about this mount that makes it pretty special. So as you can see here, me and the mount, we're, we're synchronized in style. And uh, that's it for Otto. Be sure to subscribe for more guides and videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.